Ultra Day, the father of esports, and you're watching Tim's Tiny Arcade. Hello, this is Tim from Tim's Tiny Arcade. I'm with Jordan Dor Dorrington. Yep, Jordan okay. Dorrington, yeah. Yep, he is one of the top Galaga players in the world, and he's going to show us some uh, gameplay and what we need to do here. Absolutely. If you're going to play Galaga, you got to know a little bit about the game, a little bit about the levels, how they work. So I'll just give you guys some good tips so you can understand how to uh, maybe improve a little bit. Right off the bat, no bullets are going to shoot uh, when the bugs are coming out. Okay. Which is, that's good to know because then you have time to be able to shoot the bugs, right. get them where you need to be. The key to this game is killing all the bugs as they're coming out, or as many as possible. Right. Then you have a split second where you can snag a couple bugs, and then you're trying to kill all the bugs before they go through the screen. So you have like three three areas where you want to, where you really want to take control of the game and, yeah, and focus on it. This guy will not pick you up unless you have two of these Galagas up here. Okay. That's important to know. Yeah, that, so you'll be, you could be sitting here all day waiting for one Galaga boss to come down and get you. You need at least two. The other thing you gotta learn is the double tap. Double tap, you can shoot up to two bullets and then those bullets have to leave the screen or hit a bug. Okay. I mean, I've heard of it, but... Right. See, on my opening here, I'm gonna annihilate as many as humanly possible. Now I got only two to deal with. Yeah, so that's, that, not, much that's with not much to deal with. No, that's pretty easy to take care of. Now, <laughs> on the second stage, they'll shoot bullets on when they're coming out. Okay. Third stage, challenge stage. You just sit right in the middle. With the two, with the two shift. Yep, with the double shift. Oh, and okay. You, you can't miss. I got you. See, I, yeah, I wouldn't know that. I mean, I know they come in different spots. I always try to learn where they come. Yep. But yeah, it's been in the middle. Actually, okay. you can do this on the first two bonus stages. They'll help your score and they'll, you know, right yeah, away. Yeah, and then you grab another 10,000 and you get them all. Yep. Yeah, good stuff, huh? There we go. Now, this stage, you're going to get the bugs that, I call them kamikazes. They come out and try to try to hit you. Okay. There, see? See yep. the red bug yep. coming down, down the galley. Yep. So my job is to work on my pattern here. So do they have different patterns on different levels, correct? There's three different, what I call, waves. Okay. When, and that's when they're coming out. They're opening... Their opening wave as well. That's what a lot of Galaga guys call them. Right. Um, so this time they're going to come through the middle again. All right. This is the second wave. And then they're going to come all the way out on the left. And then all of them are going to be jumbled up on the right. See that? Uh, so this is where they have two rows. Wave two always has two rows of them coming out. Okay. And look, there ain't nothing to. No, 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 Do a little cleanup. There now, the third wave. They're gonna be one, I believe they're one long row. Yep, there it is. And, yeah, that's it, that's it. Now these guys will loop around sometimes. Yeah. Challenge stage two. Stay back in the middle again. You don't even have to touch the joystick. Look at that. Yep. It's a cake. <laughs> yep. Nice. Now there's 255 stages in Galaga. And based oh, wow. on what, what um, ranking you're on is what the ending's gonna look like. For example, if you were on rank A, and I believe, yeah, rank A and rank C, you'll get a kill screen. Oh, okay. If you were on rank B or D, the game continues. And it'll go loop back to level one. Back all the way to level one? Back all the way to level one. Wow. What's the kill screen consist of? Just go blank? Or? So, there's two different kill screens in Galaga, which is cool. It's weird. Okay. If you were on rank A, you will get a traditional kill screen where the board freaks out, or the monitor, the screen freaks out and does all the, you know, funky colors. Kind of like what, what Pac-Man yeah, kill screen. Pac yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you're doing a rank C, 
it's really bizarre because it'll just have the ship down here and the stars will keep coming at you in the background, but yeah. no bugs will show up. And you can shoot too. You just sit in here and just shoot. Sit there shooting, right? yeah. Now here's another really interesting fact that's cool about Galaga. Believe it or not, you can park your ship in Galaga and take a break. Yeah. Now, you're only able to do it on stages zero, level zero, one, and two. And if you're going to park the ship for like Twin Galaxies or other big, big uh, score uh, events, you can only park on level zero. Okay. And there's a reason behind it. Um, but it's weird. I'll just while well, I'm doing this on the stage. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, I missed it. This is just muscle memory stage right here. This is not anything too bad. Anyway, so what it is is if you are playing stage zero and you leave one B, that's a yellow bug. Okay. He'll swarm around and not shoot, and you can just park the ship in the corner like that and take a break for 10 minutes. But what happens is, is if you start taking a break longer than 10 minutes, the game will do that cheat where it'll start taking away bullets. You know how there's that cheat where I, I've heard if you wait for 15 minutes, you have to be careful and there's certain rules yeah, about it. Follow. Yeah. Because eventually they won't shoot well enough. Yeah. I've heard of them. Yep, yep. I have heard of them. Now, here's another... Oh, hold on. There's a, here's another fun thing you can do too, or a good fact to help you learn to play good yellow. If you get a swarm like that and you get everybody coming at you, I don't focus up at the top anymore. I focus at the bottom and I focus on the bullets and I'm kind of randomly shooting in the general area where the bugs are, if that makes sense. Because so many people are trying to fight and they're shoot the bugs, shoot the they're not focusing on the bullets where they could have easily, you know, yeah, they could have easily missed um, some of the bullets and kept firing, but they, you know, they're so focused up top that they just died. Right, right. Also, if you're going to play Galaga, see, I go all day. <laughs> uh, if you're going to play Galaga and you start to get decent, you need to not play on the first player. And the reason is, is in Galaga, you it won't show a million points on player one. It won't show that digit. So you have to um, play on player two. And it will, and it will show, show it, and it will show it on player two. Isn't that That's weird? That's an interesting fact. I yeah. Know that. Well... That's just for getting over a million. Yep, yep. Okay. And they will show a 10 million as well. Interesting. Alright, for the bonus stage. These are the scorpions. I'm just clean these guys out like it's nothing. We're gonna go in a circle. The key is to kill these scorpions before they come down, because if they come down and they start going up like that, your chances of getting them are, are, are slim. They're pretty quick getting away. Yeah, you want to shoot them as they're coming at you. Right, right. Some guys will wait until they get all the way to the bottom and just push the button as hard as they can. Oh, okay. Now, I'm just going to, I've got a few more stages to show you, and then that's pretty much the whole okay. game. Um, two more bonus stages. Hopefully I get there. It's only on three men, so it's just three lives only. But... Yeah, I'll tell you what's what's funny to me is uh, a lot of people will play different arcade games and they'll have so much to talk about, and then they'll they'll see Galaga and they say all it is is a uh, shooter, and it's like man, I can. With the knowledge I have, I could write a whole book on this game. There's just so much to it. But you don't get that unless you play it over and over again. You learn to understand just how the, how the game works. It's, right. it's such a great game. All right. Oh, one more, and then we got another we got one. Bonus. Yep. Ooh, that was close. As you can see, I'm just annihilating everything out here. Yeah. And then I wait in the corner here, and... My double shot there, the double tap. There we go. All right, fifth bonus stage. You're gonna come out this way. They're tops, I guess. They're called satellites or tops. Okay. This is one of the easier ones. It's super easy. The next two bonus stages are the worst. Or the next three. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, that's good. Oh. I only go to stage 31 and that's the whole game. So you'll see all of the stages then. And we're on stage uh, 20, so it shouldn't be too much longer. 
There we go. Now, at these later stages, you're getting a lot more bullets, a lot more boats coming at you. Is it, it gets you a point where it kind of maxes out, though, doesn't Yeah, stage 31. 31 yeah. Max, so. But getting there is the battle. Right. So once it gets to that stage, it just stays at that stage, or does it go back? Yeah. Once you hit stage 256, it goes back to stage zero. Well, there's a level zero and then a stage one. Oh, and level zero is really bizarre. It throws a lot of people off. Right. Uh, level zero has the, the bugs come out at full speed, so they're moving as fast as, as uh, stage 30. Okay. But it shoots... Um, oh, no. No, wait. I got it backwards. Sorry. They come out super slow. Okay. And then... It shoots a truckload of bullets, so it, it confuses you because it does. It, it combines like the slowest speed mixed with the fastest bullets, so it's, a lot of people die on on uh, level zero. I died the first two times I went there because you go from stage two fifty six to level zero. Yeah, um, yeah. All right, here we go. What do we got? Bonus. There we go. All right, this one, I'm going to come in here, I line up with the eye, and then I come across. Oh, oh, I missed him. Then you sit right in the middle. Yeah, you get the idea. This one and eight are the, the eighth bone stage are the hardest to learn. Okay. Extremely difficult. The patterns of The patterns, yeah. And, you know, here's another interesting fact. I play this game all the time. Some of the other big top dogs play this game all the time, and we miss bonus stages. So, it doesn't matter how good you get. I mean, like Mike Thompson misses a few bonus stages throughout the entire game. I miss about four or five. If I really sit down, doing well. Um, so, my point is, it's like people get so focused on the bonus stages, and it's like, they come naturally. And... They come naturally, and uh, now I gotta get my ship back. Yep. <laughs> this is the toughest part. Yeah, I'm trying to get that ship back. Yeah. It's gonna be tough now. Right. Talking while playing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you gotta really concentrate. <laughs> That's okay though, we're doing good. Let's see if I can get it back here. Okay. This is actually the toughest part of the game because you don't just start over when you die. It's. Right. I'm gonna cross over. Anyway, I'll do my last life for you guys. Yep. And you'll have to see for yourself what the other bonus stages look like. Yeah. <laughs> but I had a good hit miss, I think. Yeah, I'm still a decent game. I mean, it's like double or triple. That's triple. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, my hit miss is um, average 92 to 93 hit miss. So wow. that's... That's, yeah, that's great. Yeah. So, hey, well, thank well, that's you, man, for... Yeah, and I want to thank Jordan for showing us uh, all that stuff on Galaga. Uh, I learned a lot on Galaga. Galaga is one of my favorite games, so really cool to learn all that information. If you want to know uh, more about Galaga, he's on Twitch right here below my finger. Um, look there, and it is JD Galaga on Twitch, and you can watch more of his uh, streaming of uh, Galaga. But until next time, guys, I'll talk to you all later.